Joining us now is a cleaning industry expert, Debbie Sardon. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. How are you? How does one become a cleaning industry expert, first of all? I've been cleaning homes for over 32 years and providing business training and consulting to maid service owners for many years. Do you do you walk around with a, uh, a rag in your back pocket and a, and a <laughs> bottle of... Uh, uh, some sort of cleanser? Disinfectant? Yes. No, but people assume my house is clean all the time, and it's not. <laughs> well, thank you for telling us that. We really appreciate that. So how, how bad is this that our cell phones are just uh, laden with this bacteria? Oh, brother, cell phones have been tested and found to be dirtier than the bottoms of your shoes and even dirtier than a toilet seat. <laughs> tests have revealed strep. E. coli, salmonella, and even the staph bacteria. All right, let me ask you this. What's more dirty, our cell phone or the remote control at the motel? Well, probably the remote control because it's been handled by so many more people. Yeah. But our cell phones often do get shared with other people, yeah. showing them the latest app and pictures of your grandkid. So we do pass it around quite a bit. Well, and, and we take them into the bathrooms with us and set them on the counter and right. you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, you know, I, I was at a, a Marriott hotel, beautiful hotel, Saturday night. Uh, and as I picked up the remote, uh, I thought, I wonder if they clean these uh, when they change the, uh, the the bed linen and all that. I wonder if they if they spray these down and wipe them off or not. What do you think? Probably not. In most cases, they don't. People just don't think about hmm. things like remote controls and cell phones. So they're washing their hands and disinfecting everything else, and they forget about the cell phone. Germs can live on a contaminated surface for up to 48 hours. No kidding. That's pretty scary. It really is. <laughs> what, 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 now rank, what ranks up there with remote controls and cell phones that we, that we touch oh on goodness. a daily basis? People don't think about the fact that, you know, the microwave door handles, the refrigerator handles that at break room at, at your office. Mm -hmm. Even the faucet or the toilet handle. Oh, yeah. You won't think about those things. They rarely get cleaned. Yeah, you know, and that makes sense obvious, for obvious reasons. And, and, then, exactly. and, and then how about the, uh, the door handles uh, that, you know, when, you, when you're in a, a public restroom and the door opens inward, so you have to grab the handle to walk out. Exactly. Of course, more and more people will grab a paper towel if there is one right. and use that to open the door. Yeah. But think about ATM buttons and anything yeah. in the public that just rarely gets wiped down. Well, now that we're all paranoid, how do we, <laughs> how do we avoid these dirty surfaces? You know, this is the time of year where it's okay to be paranoid. There's no reason to overdo it throughout the year, but during the flu season, I recommend that you unplug the cell phone from the cords that are plugged into electricity, turn it to the off position completely, and wipe it down with a microfiber towel, something that doesn't scratch, and just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You can even use Q-tips to get in and around the little crevices, and if you have a phone with buttons, it helps get all around the buttons. How often should we wash our hands? During flu season, you should be washing them continually, as often as you can, because you are shaking hands and touching keyboards and mm -hmm. coming in contact with contaminated doorknobs. Yes. So wash your hands much more often with warm, soapy water during flu season, more regularly than normal. Is it, is it, is it overly paranoid if you wear long sleeves to tuck your hand up inside the sleeve when you open these doors? <laughs> as long as nobody knows what you're doing, it's not overly <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> If they catch wind of it, you might be labeled. <laughs> and, and then uh, something that I've become a big believer in: uh, don't don't rub your eyes with you with your fingers. Uh, that's just exactly. a yeah. It's the little things like Try that. Try to avoid putting your fingers in your mouth. You yeah. know, those of us yeah. that are nail biters. Yeah. And, and, you know, we pick at our nails. Try to avoid putting them in your mouth. Yep. Just wash your hands more often. Yep. The one thing that I uh, have not been able to avoid, nor do I, nor do, nor do I care to, is avoiding uh, holding my grandchildren and having them cough in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they have colds, which is ongoing. Children are notorious for, for being sick a lot more than adults because they're exposed to so many other children who are sick. And so... Again, hand washing. People really don't realize how important it is and how helpful it is. Warm, soapy water. Wash your hands more often. Debbie, thank you very much for uh, joining us once again. Thanks for having me. Stay well. You as well. Thank you.